Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this at the start, but this is going to be the first of a series of webinars yourself. Um, so we've got a good introduction to yourself there. This particular webinar is going to be focusing on sort of coaching reflections and how you can look internally at yourself as a coach. So we're based in London, so Northern Hemisphere, so we're coming to the end of the, of the rugby season over here. Um, so am I right in thinking that we're coming to a time of season where you generally look to reflect on your own coaching abilities? Most definitely. I think, like, in an ideal world, you should be, like, reflecting and praising every single coaching session you do and that's the ideal um but we all lead busy lives and that's not always possible but for other coaches sort of even if it's just on the way home driving or walk, just a little thinking oh that didn't go so well what what could have I done better just so you're always you're trying to make the best version of yourself as you can be um uh, and I think now as you said a couple of months off is a really good time to sort of have a maybe a real sort of deep think about, right, how did I coach this year? What did I do well? What didn't I do well? What and why? Why didn't that go well? Some of it was like me, oh, actually, I don't know why. And if you didn't know, ask someone, like ask, but, but yeah, really have a think about how you want to get better next year. And like, you dare say most coaches will be thinking about the players and what we can do to get them better. But it's like, okay, what, have a look at yourself. How can you make yourself better? And there's some pretty simple ways that it can be done, I think. Yeah, can you tell us, um, can you give us some examples of those simple ways that you can do that um, as a novice coach to begin with? Yeah, I think like you can sort of break into two sort of sections. So I think you've got the, um, the no rugby skill or no rugby knowledge. So for instance, like, so, for instance, so my wife who knows nothing about teaching or coaching or rugby, but if she's got a few things right that take no skill and you put in grunt of a, of a group of players, she wouldn't, they wouldn't go far off. So in terms, like, so I'm talking about things like enthusiasm, body language, positivity, being organized, being punctual and getting to know players, probably a lot more than that, but none of those take any rugby knowledge or skill. Um, but if you get those things right, and I can go into a little bit more depth if you want, then you won't go far wrong. 